What type of returns should you expect from your investments? Well, the first thing you have to do is come up with a strategy. Are you trying to trade, which is buying and selling over the shorter term? Or are you trying to buy, hold, and invest for the long term? As a certified financial planner and professional investment advisor to my clients, I would love to find companies like NVIDIA early and make my clients millions of dollars overnight. The only problem is that picking these individual winners is extremely unlikely. Professor Binder's research is just another quick example. This research is absolutely public information. Binder found that all of the stock market wealth creation can be attributed to the top 1,000 performing stock, while the remaining 96% of stocks collectively matched a one-month T-bill, or basically a CD down by the bank. So it would be intuitive to think that myself and other professional investors would be able to sift through all of these companies and try to find the winners, right? Well, Princeton University professor Burton Malkiel, in his famous book, A Random Walk Down Wall Street, has famously pointed out that even the best investment advisors have a really hard time trying to outperform just the market or all of the stocks as a whole. The Standard & Poor's index fund versus active management data is just staggering. Professional investors with supposedly unlimited resources trying to buy and sell individual stocks, roughly 90 to 95% of them are underperforming the market as a whole. Professor Malkiel quoted, I believe even more strongly than ever that index investing is an optimal strategy. And just stating what's pretty much become public knowledge that 90% of active managers are underperforming the broad base indexes. By Nobel Prize winners such as Fama, Markowitz, Sharp states that a wealth of academic evidence warns that trying to time markets is a foolhardy endeavor. But given that research has shown that just buying and holding low-cost index funds is going to put you right in like the 90th percentile of professional investors, that's the way I'm going to go. And when you look at the data for the last 50 years, the returns are pretty awesome. Large cap growth around 11, large cap value 11, mid cap 11, small cap 11, international equities lagging behind around 9, emerging markets at 10 and a half, real estate around 12 and a half. I look to JP Morgan's long-term capital market assumptions for future predictions. And because I want to be more conservative for my clients, I'm using numbers more like 7.9, maybe 8%. And of course, if we can get better performance, well, then you're going to like me more. It is unknowable to know where the market is going to go in the short term. So therefore, the financial planning becomes extremely important in understanding how much cash you need to hold and what accounts should you be investing in. And at the end of the day, consistent saving is what's going to build substantial wealth.